The armed forces of Ukraine stopped the advance of the Russian occupiers in the Pokrovsky direction. At the same time, the enemy is trying to find new loopholes. Military expert, pilot instructor and reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Roman Svitan, told about this in a commentary on Channel 24. In particular, he recalled that the 15th Brigade of the National Guard, Kara Dag, was transferred to the Pokrovsky area earlier and the fighters did a good job there. They stopped literally a dozen kilometers from Pokrovsk, the expert said. According to him, the Russians started advancing towards Kurakovo. At the same time, the enemy will try to press in the area of Ukrainian and Selidovoy, as this is the so-called Northern Pinsa, with the help of which the invaders seek to create a small encirclement in the area of Kurakovo. According to Svitan, this Russian claw can be cut off by simply destroying it with the help of artillery. In addition, artillery can work quite well there from the side of Vugladar and Kurokovoy. In general, there are enough mechanisms for this. The main thing is that there are forces and means. At the same time, the main task now is to knock out enough weapons and equipment, especially ammunition from our partners, specifically for this direction. But the direction to Crimea is the most promising, and in this context, the Kursk operation is very interesting. Sirsky is changing the architecture of the front. The expert emphasized, in his opinion, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine is deploying the front from the Azov and Black Seas towards Moscow into the Russian heart of decision-making. Earlier, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, reported that the armed forces managed to stop the advance of Russian troops in the Pokrovsky direction. According to him, over the past six days, the enemy has not advanced even a meter in the Pokrovsky direction. Pokrovsk is a very strategic city which is a logistical hub, an industrial powerhouse, and is considered the gateway between eastern and central Ukraine. If the city falls, Ukraine not just loses supply lines in the entire region, but Russian forces acquire a launch pad for mounting assaults deeper in Ukraine and controlling other strategic cities. The 12th Special Forces Azov Brigade helped to avert a catastrophic situation in New York in Donetsk Oblast, unblocking surrounded Ukrainian soldiers and regaining part of the settlement, the brigade said. New York lies just south of Toritsk, a key frontline town that has become one of the focal points of the Russian offensive in Donetsk Oblast. At the time the brigade was deployed to the area, the situation on the front line was catastrophic, the Azov Brigade said on X, however, Thanks to the high morale, courage, and professionalism of the brigade's fighters, Azov managed to stabilize the situation, regain control of part of New York, and unblock the defense forces, which were surrounded by enemy troops. The Azov Brigade nevertheless acknowledged that the situation in the settlement remains tense as Russian forces conducted up to 15 ground assaults in the unit's area of responsibility within a day. Russia has been pushing deeper into New York over the past weeks in an attempt to encroach on the important town of Toritsk. While Moscow has repeatedly claimed a full capture of New York, the Azov Brigade refuted the statement, saying that Ukrainian forces continue holding the defenses. Ukraine's success in the area appears to be corroborated by the crowdsourced Deep State Monitoring Service, which shows Ukrainian forces regaining ground in northern New York and in neighboring Nelopivka. Soldiers of the invading Russian army have used armored combat vehicles to close the passage under the railway bridge near Selavoda village of Pokrovsk district in eastern Donetsk region. The invaders, who blocked the road with at least four vehicles, fled, abandoning the T-72 tank, which was fully operational. As a result, the crossing was opened, and the tank worth $4 million was taken away by fighters of the Karadag unit of the Ukrainian National Guard's 15th Brigade. The crew members of the tank trying to hide were killed by shells fired from the drone.